Your Honor, I came home and seen a spatula in my door. Your Honor, I live in a $2,000 apartment that I'm paying for a month. I wrote in, why is my door unlocked? Neighbors could walk past, come in. I come in, food on the stove, it's not book right there. It's, it's, it's the food of disgust. It's not even all edible arranged. None of that good stuff. It's burnt. So I'm like, okay, maybe he's You're going to have to stop. Is lying. No, Damn. no, no, no. You're going to have to stop. I'm getting Your crazy. Honor, Random Radio Merry Christmas This is a special Reaction episode I don't even think that Can we do tallying? Can we tally up for this? Uh, this would be like extra credit I'll count it but You know uh, It would be like extra credit all right, so this is, we're going to try to see if this works. You know, first we got to see if it works, see if we make it through the copyright test. This will be Divorce Court with Judge Lynn Tola. I like Lynn Tola. She's got, she's got some nice lips. Um, this episode is called Harper vs. McCormick, hashtag in my feelings. We're going to watch this and we're going to react. And then if we can get some scores out of this, we'll see what we can do. Maybe we'll get some scores. All right, let's, let's take a look at this. Random Radio. Today we have a couple whose relationship in real life is being destroyed by their relationship online. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this the handicap? Is this the gay handicap? All right. I'm ready. It's a common problem these days. Let's see if we can work it out. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toler presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Raymond Harper and, what the fuck? and Christian McCormick. The two of you have been together for four years. You do not, however, believe you can stay together any longer. Therefore, you have come to see me. I also have in this courtroom. What in all the hell is this? What am I looking at? What am I seeing? What the hell is even that? <laughs> Dravon Wright, and you are Mr. <laughs> Ray's best friend and caregiver, and you have something to say about all of this. We also have Mr. Harper is seeking $1,000 to be reimbursed for two months of rent, and we will talk about that momentarily. But before we do, I'm going to start with Mr. Harper, otherwise known as Roland Ray. You know what? It's given very much of how you doing your honor, Miss Judge Lance Holler. I am here today to get my money from this man. Yeah, want to be a woman. Yeah, he's terrible, your honor. He's really terrible. So, I've been dating Christian for the past six years, you know, off and on, give or take, you know what I'm saying? Just, just act like it didn't happen. <laughs> I mean, what the hell was that? <laughs> what, what, what was that? My man just rode around and, and what, what did he say? Did he say he think he a girl? What? 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 I'm so confused right now. What just happened here? What just happened? <laughs> Everybody just knows it's like, oh, and all that went on and this, but go ahead. That's what, it was given. So we were talking for the past six or seven years, give or take. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, when I first turned 18, I moved, I remember the house because I was an independent person. I wanted to show my mother that I can do what I want to do. It's given right. all that all by. What the hell are you talking about? So I got my own apartment. Me, they and Christian at the age of 17 going on 18. I was like, hey, babe, I got a new apartment. Oh, it's given. What's up? You want to move in? You know what I'm saying? Peaches and creams and apple sauce. Yeah, all that. <laughs> so uh, then, yes, uh, calm down, Nick, calm down, calm down, calm down. <laughs> then you're on the all bad. 
He moves in, everything is going good, you know what I'm saying? He brings his clothes, they kind of stink, but I'm gonna wash them, my washing machine, because it's giving all day. My yeah. clothes never stink. Let's start so, there. It, don't interrupt me, thank you. But I interrupted you. I said what I said. Now, Mr. Har Mr. Harper, and Mr. Harper, if we're gonna go all the way through all those details, we'll never Sorry get anywhere. I interrupt you, Your Honor, but he's well, giving your Honor, a show so he moves he in, and so... What the hell are we looking at here? What the hell are we... I am looking at a handicapped, flamboyant, effeminate gay man dating a another effeminate, flamboyant gay man. What am I looking at here? You know, this is disrespectful to the homosexual community right here. Because why do you all think that this makes you gay? This acting like this. What, what? This is not a part of being gay. Gay is supposedly who you love, right? What part of this is gay? What part of this social uh, conforming the, the, that you've done is what makes you gay? Where you act like a girl. This is all ridiculous. I am so confused right now. And I don't even know what the hell this red top motherfucker here is even saying. I have no idea what this thing is saying. I noticed that Christian started, you know, using gay apps, talking to gay males. Oh, I had his that. phone one day, and I went through his app and seen... Please pull up the receipts. Ms. Mr. McCormick, just a moment. No, Go ahead. He needs to pull Mr. Up McCormick. Miss Miss Toler. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Judge Toler. Um, hey, hang on, Mr. Harper. <laughs> Mr. McCormick, <laughs> help me out here. No, no, no. Judge no, I'll get to you when I get to you. Mr. Mr. McCormick, right why don't you tell me what's going on in your relationship with Mr. Harper? What's going on as you see the shenanigans in the show? He's rude. He's a cheater. He's a liar. Give me an example of a time um, when you caught him cheating. We first started dating. Um, I'm laying in the bed with him. His phone going off, 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 off. Who is calling you two, three, four o'clock in the morning? His doctor. His doctor's calling him, making sure he's got his medication. You tripping. You supposed to be my man. Who calling you? So you know nowadays these iPhones got facial recognition, fingerprint. Right. I put the thumb on the phone. I don't care. I go through the phone. I see. Like a nosy person. And as I should have, but I'm not talking to you. I go through the phone and I see he was dating this boy for seven months while he was dating me, and he had sexual interrelations with this boy three days before he just had sexual interrelations with me. Do you have any Let's receipts? Let's ask about that. Do you have any receipts? Oh, now it's any receipts. Your but honor. I was cheating on you, but she's not talking to you. Your you honor. To be quiet. Hey, 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 hey. Right now, I'm not talking to either one of you. Mr. Wright, why don't you come on up? Stand there oh next to Mr. Harper. That's fake caretaker. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Wright, Mr. Mr. Wright, what do you see when you see this couple? When I see this couple, Your Honor, I see terrible trouble because... What the hell is even that? What the fuck is going on here? Why do these two niggas look like mustard? and catch up what am i looking at here sir i feel as though from my point of view of this looking at this relationship they shouldn't even be together like christian is very insecure uh -huh. and like very sneaky you know i'm the caretaker you know i'm here Mm -hmm. So like I see things, I see. And you're my best friend. If I That's made it, your but like honor, I see things, I see what be going on and how he be acting and how he's very sneaky. Like, give me examples. I need stories. Sneaky as in like, sneaky as in like. So it was a, a period of time when I was helping him, you know, get ready and stuff, and I stayed later than uh, I stayed later than what I should. I spent the night, so I slept in the bed with my friend. That's an every night thing. I, sp I slept. The, I slept in the bed with my friend. Excuse me. And that's when he comes home, and he comes home thinking, like, we're messing with each other. Like, what caretaker sleeps in the bed? How is that sneaky? How? You have not given me any of us any examples of anything being sneaky. How is that sneaky? Because the person who's dating someone else comes home, sees you sleeping your gay yellow ass in the bed with this red motherfucker trying to make orange. How, what, what else is this man, girl thing supposed to think? Please it is me. unusual, forget, Mr. Wright. I'm the best friend as well, and too. And I thought you had to have like, a background It's not giving mess with your friends. Like, he's insecure, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. like, no, I look you at see. the 
point of the matter. You on there? Two gay boys okay, in the same miss, bed. Miss, miss, Two gay boys okay, in the same miss, bed. Miss, miss, Two gay boys okay, in the same miss, bed. Miss, miss, miss. Mr. Harper, I understand you believe Mr. McCormick is cheating on you and impersonating people, including women, in yep. order to scam them. Your Honor. Tell me about that. Receipt. What I have is right here, Your Honor. I came home. Here you go, Mr. Nick. You look so handsome. That fate is giving. Man, I see that. Thank you. <laughs> I can't take you. He just turned red. <laughs> <laughs> So, Mr. Mr. Harper, you were saying... Your Honor, I came home one day. I'm going to roll around because I get a little angry. I don't want to let no, it out my you give it, you give it a show. Because he calms me down sometimes. Your Honor, I came home and seen a spatula in my door. Your Honor, I live in a $2,000 apartment that I'm paying for a month. I wrote in... Why is my door unlocked? Neighbors could walk past. Come in. I come in. Food on the stove. It's not book right there. It's, it's, it's the fool of disgust. It's not even all oh, edible arranged. None of that good stuff. It's burnt. So I'm like, okay, maybe he's You're not... going to have to stop. You lying. No, Damn. no, no, no. You're going to have to stop. I'm getting your queasy. Honor, I... <laughs> I'm going to back it on that for you, Your Honor. No, 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 no. Your Honor, he could never say you... my food now, is burnt. Now, now what are you on, trying to tell me? I thought we were talking about him scamming people. Yeah, I w- listen, Your Honor. And it's... then you came in with a spatula. Your Honor, I had video proof of Christian McCormick scamming people using a white girl, real nice body, and talking to guys in the D.C. area to get their money. Not their money, Your Honor. What the fuck are you talking about? A prepaid debit okay, card. Okay, okay. Park? I, um... I'm trying to figure out why... Even for gay people, why? What is the need to act like this? This isn't a gay thing. It has nothing to do with homosexuality. This has absolutely nothing to do with the people who are part of the LGBTQ community. This has nothing to do with you all at all. This is a mental disease. This person here has a self-identity issue, and I understand if you've, if you've been in this wheelchair your whole life, you've been trying to figure out who you going to be. Gay is what he gravitated to. If he was in the hood, he would have been a gangster. In the wheelchair. Gang banging. This is unfortunate. That these people are acting like this. They're acting like girls. And they're acting like divas. See? You know, what I tell you about the black women, and this is probably what their mothers exhibited to them. Or what they just chose to gravitate towards. Maybe they do have fathers. And they just gravitated towards this because they wanted to be gay. I I just don't understand. If you're a gay person, why do you have to act like this? There are tons of gay people out there who don't act like this. Don Lemon, Anderson Cooper, they don't act like this. Neil Patrick Harris doesn't act like this. They're men. They're gay. They like who they like. They're out there liking who they like. No one cares. Why is the show needed? With your sexuality. Why is there a show. That must come attached with it. That's not gay. That has nothing to do with homosexuality. That's a mental illness. For real. I'm sorry. (laughs) And we'll look at the video. Of the alleged scam. Your honor. What we have here is. (laughs) His computer. Your honor. That's his computer your honor. I see that. When I came home your honor. It's messages saying, hey, I'm about to leave out the door and meet you at the hotel room, um, Your Honor. If you don't park that thing. I'm so sorry, Your Honor. I'm so sorry. It's never going to be parked. He's going to roll everywhere. It's rolling Ray. Your Honor. Honey, it's tripping. You're uh, never speaking to so Ray. So how is that proof he's scamming people? Because all me, I saw was a keyboard. Let me tell you. And a dude at the hotel since you know so much. Mr. Harper, please finish this. Mm-hmm. Th- thank you. I went through the computer... His phone is connected to the Mac. You know how the, the iMessage is connected to your MacBook if you use the same iCloud, username, password. His computer was unlocked, Your Honor. He's talking to a guy, a, a social media site, Lord Day and I, where you meet guys for exchange of um, personal favors. So I'm going up the messages, and I see that he's sending um, new pictures that he 
took from somebody else's page somehow and send it into this guy, making this guy um, believe that it's him. Oh, so he was taking pictures. You said it was a, of a woman, yes. a naked woman, uh-huh. to a guy to make that he kind of catfishing him yes. to make him believe that he was a woman. And was he asking for money? Not money, like cash. It was on a prepaid card, so he don't have to meet up with the guy you're on. Okay, Mr. McCormick, do you do you recall the incident no, he's I talking don't, about? Your Honor, I don't recall that incident. But I have a Excuse me. Stop! I'm stop! Not talking to you, Mr. McCormick. I didn't Mr. McCormick. You. Do you know what he's talking about? No, Your Honor. You don't know where he got that story from. No. So Can what do you evidence? think the That's... problem in this relationship is? The fans and the lap dances. The fans and the, and the lap dances. I love you, and it's the it, it's giving, and the attitude, and the roller, and the shows, and this fake caregiver. Why do you think he's a fake caregiver? Where caregiver, you know, is laid up in the bed. I'm also his best friend. Uh-huh. It doesn't Before matter. The Me and my best friends don't be laid up in the bed. Because they don't like you. <laughs> you don't know what my friends like. You don't know what my friends like. I mean, I, I agree with that. Plus, you all are gay. I mean, promiscuity is it, it's rampant in the homosexual community, especially with homosexual men. So I agree with the thing over there that, yeah, you know, what, what what is that about? Your friends in the bed with you? I don't sleep in the bed with my friends, male or female. We don't do that shit. Well, why don't you tell me about the other aspects of the relationship that are bothering you? Say he rolls around too much. He Explain too that to me. Shows, I mean, not that media. I don't understand, because I kind of see it, but... He, he gives too many shows, social media. Like, example, he said Beyonce bailed him out two times. Beyonce don't know you. <laughs> Well, I mean, he's in a wheelchair. He's a homosexual man who thinks that he's a girl who's saying that his homosexual male lover is too much like a girl. You think that this person is not delusional? You think they don't live in a world of full delusion? His whole life is a delusion. So in his world, he does know Beyonce. In his world, he know me. Never called you, met you ever in life. Ever in life. But she Mr. bailed you out two times. Mr. Harper, did you cl- No, done. hang on, hang on. Did you claim that Beyonce bailed you uh, out? Beyonce knows all about me. Beyonce has my number. Man, Beyonce talks every now and then. She's yeah. right now. Oh, that's ridiculous. That would be ridiculous, right? Checks up on me. When I got arrested, Beyonce was at my rescue like it was nothing. Lies, lies, and more lies, and lies on top of lies. That's all that is. I am done with him. When he gets to my house, he's unpacking his bags. He's done. He, he steals. I come home, my ID is missing. My credit cards is missing. My everything is just to be missing. My I mean, nigga, you, 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 you got a pretty messy lifestyle. You might be losing shit because you, you, you a motherfucking fool. My friend can tell you, we get in school because my friend wants to humiliate him. But I stopped it because at the end of the day, that's who I was dating for six years before he was in the picture. What she's not going to do is keep trying to accuse this man of having sex relations. Your Honor, I went to the doctors because of him on social media sites trying to sell his body, Your Honor. I went I to the doctor never, with my best friend. Never. The person I'm so-called having sexual dealings with, we Y'all both... both went to the clinic and got checked yeah, out. Yeah, we both went to the clinic and got checked out and nothing came back from me. I they was... don't like you. But who goes to the doctor with their best friend and y'all both get STD tests? Who don't? That's what you're supposed to do. I'm 29. Who don't? <laughs> I don't even have time for the shenanigans at this point. I'm studying to be get my MD. He's not he even go. going to school every day. You're in medical school? Yeah. He's not That's in medical wonderful. school. That's wonderful. Thank you. I don't I get that a lot don't in here. That's do not wonderful. I'm making something of my don't life and him. I don't do $30 promos on Instagram. I'm going to make an actual coin. An actual coin? <sighs> this nigga ain't no fucking medical school. Your Honor, he treats me like I'm his sugar daddy. He don't give me sex when I want it. That's disgusting. Your Honor, that he is a lot. Oh my no, god, it's dead serious. He's oh my- a sugar daddy, Your Honor. I have text messages right there on your oh desk my god. to prove it. He's not having no sexual relations to me unless I pay for his makeup, hair, and this other type of stuff. That was really honestly a joke, Your Honor. I can admit to that. Because me and my cousin, which is my girl for life, 
We was texting, and we, I did text him and say that. No, I know. He joke. owes me for rent. Did you, did you ask a hold person? Hold no, hold 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 hey, hold hey, I'm talking. Okay, my apologies, Miss Girl. Miss who? I'm She's sorry. not a girl. It's Miss Toller. It's Judge Toller. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> I have a question. What the fuck, man? What the hell is going on? I mean, the, I mean, I understand that this isn't real court, but the utter disrespect, Miss Girl. Well, why the diva? I mean, of all the women to be like, why do they choose to be divas? Did you actually ask somebody to send the front and back portions of a card to you? No, I didn't. Well, why do I have front and back pictures of a card? I'm asking you, did you do that? No, I didn't. You did not do that? No. Hold on, hold on one second. No, before, don't before. tell me to hold on. You people are confused. You don't say. Hold on. I don't know what it is you do in real life. Finally. Can a little bit of, of reality come in here? I mean, these two and these two. I am getting so sick of these two little fucking fairies here. Jesus Christ. I don't know. Hey, hey. I don't know what you do on the gram, Twitter, anywhere else. But this is my house. Yes, ma'am. I've been trying to be respectful out here, but I need some of that in return or everybody can roll out. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> We now have a, not like it isn't bad enough, another surprise witness. <laughs> we have Zania Williams. Zania, my Zania girl, Zania my Williams. best friend. Come on, best friend, let's Williams go. Williams oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, is, is this going to be trans? I don't think I can take any more of these people. Is this gonna be a trans? I'm out. Cause it's giving. It's been giving. Oh, look it's at her been wig. Giving. <laughs> <laughs> been giving. Her eyebrows, her makeup. Hi, uh, Big Bird. Hi, Elmo. Oh, look. Oh, look. <laughs> Give a round of applause. Oh, look. Oh, look. Let's let's. Hey, hey, hey. You know what? Um, she's not bad looking. She's chocolate. She's got a cute smile. She's busty. I like her. <laughs> Ms. Williams, why don't you tell me what you know about this relationship? I don't like him. I don't like how he treat my friend. And you, you need to let him go or our friendship is over, period. Ms. Williams, talk to me. Hey, 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 hey. Using your but, dude hey. For, uh, um, for army benefits. Rolling Ray. Hey. I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> how do you know Mr. McCormick and how long have you known Mr. Harper? I've known him for eight years. Him, he's like social media-ish, so. You were on my... So he's social media-ish. She's kind of like on social media a lot, so I just kind of met him. Right. Yeah. Did you know that Mr. McCormick and Mr. Harper were in a relationship? I did. And what did you think of that relationship? I don't like it. Because? I don't like how he treat him. Tell me, give me a story, something so, I would say. I went to... Christian's family member's barbecue. And a secret went out that Bonnie and Ray had sex with one of his family members. You gotta be fucking kidding me. And it was confirmed. At the same time? Mr. Mr. Harper, is that inaccurate? It's all the, the truth. truth. I don't know what else to say. I have never seen such a collection of shit in my life. All right. The dysfunction. How is any of this supposed to... What, what, what does any of this matter? The dysfunction. You all are cheating on each other. And so this man here has... A, he does not have a reason to be concerned or curious about why this other... Your, why, why, while the yellow crayon is sleeping in the bed with the red crayon, he has, he has no reason to be concerned? You slept with a family member. Jesus Christ. I understand we have your mother on the line. Oh, Lord. Where is this shit going to now? Where are we going to? M Mama is involved. How are you? This is Judge Lynn Toller. How are you, Judge? I'm How doing you, well. Good. 
Can you state your name and tell me your relationship to the parties out here? And my name is Donetta McCormick, and I'm the mom of Christian McCormick. And what do you think of his relationship with Mr. Harper? Sometimes we invite too many people into our relationships instead of sitting down and really listening to each other. I believe that my son Christian, he's playing a role as a wife. However, what he wants back in return, he's not receiving. What are you talking about, bitch? Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mrs. McCormick. I appreciate your Have a your nice day. Input. Take me to a sunset at my house. Okay, cool, <laughs> man. Don't you ever address my mother like that. All right. Here we are. So you want $1,000 from him for two months of rent. Explain to me why I should give that to you. Your Honor, the money isn't even a big deal, but it is a big deal to me because, for one, I went from the ghetto to downtown. Where we moving on? It's very hard in D.C. because it's a gentrified area. It, the rent is $2,000 a month. I gotcha. Right. So he came to me. I came to him. I said, Christian, you want to have to start helping me around here because you going to school and good enough, you honor, he don't go to school on time. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dude, the fucking meat and potatoes of this story will never get to it. Will never get to it. Jesus Christ. He oversleeps and all that. So I'm like, you had to start looking out for me too. Like, I need at least $500 a month. So, okay, that was $500 at the beginning of um, June, I mean July, and going into August. That's $1,000. That's all I want We just you. got to August. Okay, it's, Mr. It's Mr. McCormick, first. it appears that Mr. Harper is saying that he needs you to contribute towards the rent that he is paying. Um, Your Honor, to be honest, I need pain and suffering. Yeah. He need pain and suffering. He need pain and suffering. Who the fuck are these fucking people? <laughs> I need pain and suffering. He needs <laughs> All right? And he needs pain and suffering too. Not only do I need to be compensated for pain and suffering, I'm going to need counseling. <laughs> I need a sleeping pill, I damaged something. Goods. I could never go get you, into another relationship. Why do you believe that you don't owe him rent money? I'm not paying him rent money. First of all, he acts friend. like a whole housewife. He cooks all your food. Mad your No. Oh, he cooks okay, all your okay. food. Okay, okay. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. It doesn't, hey, hey. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He cooks all your food. Due to disorder Lunch. and contempt Snacks. by all parties in this courtroom, this matter is adjourned. Jesus Christ. I mean, it was virtually... First of all, there's no possible way that either, any, either one of these fucking two fairy fucks had a case because the two Marys could never explain any of their fucking accusations up in a way where we could understand. We literally sat here and heard two fucking idiots do nothing but talk idiotically that is what just happened here a disgrace to the world has been shown before your eyes that is why you are seeing this merry christmas this is your america either way after the show the pair was still together and they still living together and they both are still sitting around having doubts about their relationship. What a bunch of fucking idiots. All right, you guys, leave some messages in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Were these two people smart? Were they not? I, they are clearly two idiots. All right, uh, Merry Christmas. This was a Christmas special. I'll see you guys yeah, next week. You are listening to Random Radio.